Ermi's Gasparini has given us brief predictions for the Devon vs. Levon match here and there over the buildup, but he just recently posted a video specifically dedicated to that prediction. He talks about the comparison between his match against Devon and Levon, as well as finally clarifying his prediction for this match. And he does also poke at Levon just a little bit in this video and mentions that now he knows how to beat Levon, which is pretty interesting. Let's take a listen to the clip. When I fought to this table, I said one or two times, I was not prepared for this fight, and they, he completed dominate me in the setup. I don't push it my 100% power, but with Levan, yes. With Levan, yes, because he don't take it my full pronation. If Devon can take little bit his wrist in the setup, he can hold him in some point of the match. Possibility is growing up a lot. So firstly, I think Ermes makes a really good point about comparing his matches with Devon and Levon. He is saying that you can't really do this because the matches are so different as well as the athletes in the matches being so different. In the Levon match, Ermes pretty much had full access to his power through back pressure as soon as Levon began to use down pressure to go for the pin. Ermes still had a decent degree of pronation throughout the entire match. However, with Devon, this was not the case. Firstly, Devon got a way better setup against Ermes than Levon did, as he knew precisely what to do against Ermes to make it really hard for him. And secondly, Devon did not apply any down pressure in the match until he had fully taken hand control and fully turned Ermes' palm up, removing his pronation and entirely. What this means is that Ermes never had good access to his power, so making the case that Devon will beat Levon because he beat Ermes easier than Levon did probably doesn't work. If we've heard it a thousand times, we might as well hear it one more time. Styles make matches in arm wrestling. As cliche as that is, it really is a good point. Now some people may say that Ermes is just making excuses for losing to Devon, but I do think that what Ermes is saying makes a lot of sense. Of course he would have taken his match against Levon way more seriously than his match against Devon. Who wouldn't have? You can just see it in his eyes, how he's literally putting 100% into the Levon match, and then in the Devon match, it looks like he's thinking about what he's gonna eat later. He just didn't have that same fire. He explains all of these factors in the beginning of this video to explain why his prediction is still that Levon is the favorite. He thinks that what Devon did to him in the setup probably will not work against Levon. While Devon has a great style match against Ermes, he does not have this same style match against Levon. Now, Ermes does say that if Devon can crack Levon's wrist back and get some sort of hard stop, his chances go way, way up in this match. And that's pretty much what everyone is saying. It's a little bit difficult to know what Ermes means by this, though. Does he think that if Devon can take the wrist, he becomes the favorite from that point on? Or does he simply think that Levon will still win, but Devon's chances went from 1% to 10%? It's hard to tell, but it sounded to me like Ermes does give Devon a real chance if he can take that wrist and get a hard stop. So let me know what you guys think about Ermi's prediction, as well as his explanation for why comparing his match with Devin and Levon doesn't add up. Just 12 days out from match day.